Hi, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. Here's the shawl that we're going to be making today. Oh, I just think it's so gorgeous with all those baubles. We have baubles in there and I'll teach you how to do them if you haven't done them before. Um, I'll walk through um, the rows more than once so that you can get it. Um, yeah, I just think it's so gorgeous. Look at, look at the texture, the bumps. <laughs> okay. So I only made a smaller one that can be worn, you know, around the front of you as, as a scarf, just due to time restraints. Um, I crochet all my own stuff, so it takes time. I did a total of 24 rows. The wingspan measures 27 inches and from top to tip measures 14 inches and I'll have the centimeters written on the screen, but you make yours as long as you want. Make it into a full size shawl if you want. This yarn is from the Knitting Network. It's called Fun Fair Swirl DK. They're in the UK. They ship all over the place. I'm not um, affiliated or sponsored or anything. It's a three weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. It actually recommends a four millimeter knitting needle. Um, I actually went up to a 4.5 millimeter hook because I wanted it a little looser to have a little bit more of a drape. Okay, so this colorway, if you're curious, is Ferris wheel. And I was color controlling, so I have, you know, I have all these balls here. <laughs> and I got into the second ball because, oh, I'll tell you. First of all, I'll tell you what we have for yardage in here. Um, we have approximately 450 meters, 492 yards. That's what we have. So I got into the second ball to pull some of the colors out that I needed um, because my rows were getting longer, so I needed more lengths of color. So if you want to make full-size shawl, uh, I guess a, a couple of balls. Let's see, that would be almost a thousand yards that should make a decent size shawl you can even make it bigger if you like um, and this is like I said a three weight but you can use a two weight three four weight whatever you want to use I just suggested you go up maybe a hook size or half a hook size to make it more more drapey so it's not really really um, stiff you'll need a darning needle to sew in your ends and also scissors to cut your yarn. And I use the stitch marker only for one little spot. And that's just where I, as I was crocheting along, if I got interrupted, <laughs> I would just mark that stitch so I didn't pull it out when I picked up my shawl to continue on. Let's just go ahead and make this beautiful shawl. I just love it. It's a two row repeat. You'll be repeating rows three and four. Now I'm going to start with a magic ring. You can do the chain four method if you like. You might hear crunching in the background. Huggles is eating her dry food. All right, so we're gonna put five double crochets into this ring. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five double crochets, and then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to put another five double crochets into this same ring. Okay, you can pull your tail to close the hole. 
Okay, so we did five double crochets, a chain two, and five double crochets. All right, that's the end of row one. So now on to row two, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. This very first stitch here, I'm going to put three double crochets. And that's what we're going to do at the end and the beginning of every row. Okay, so three double crochets in that very first stitch. Okay, so we have four double crochets here. Before I chain two space, we'll put one double crochet into each of those four stitches. It's one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're at our chain two space. We're going to put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the chain two space. Okay, it's one double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. That's what we're always going to be putting into our chain two space. Okay, now we're going to come up this side. We're going to put one double crochet into each of the four double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and then we have that very last stitch where we'll put three double crochets in there. Okay, that's one, two, three. Okay, we've just completed row two. Okay, now we're chain one, go on to row three. Put your three double crochets right into that very first stitch. One, two, three. Okay, now going down this side, not counting those three we double crochets we just did, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to put one double crochet in each of those eight, and that'll bring us down to our chain two space. Seven, eight. Okay, now we're at our chain two space. Put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, that's two double crochets, chain two, <clears throat> excuse me, two more double crochets. Okay, now we're coming up the other side. We will put one double crochet in each of the next eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and then right into that very last stitch, we'll put our three double crochets. It's one, two, 
and three. So now we have completed row three. All right, let's go on to row four. Okay, now we've chained one and turned our work. So now we're gonna put our three double crochets in the very first stitch. Okay, now here comes the fancy stitch. <laughs> now, I've called this shawl the X's and O's shawl. You ever play X's and O's when you're a kid or an adult even? <laughs> um, so I'm going to be putting an X, then an O, and then a single crochet. So you just have to remember that sequence for this side. Okay, right up into the chain two space. So X's, O's, single. X, O, single. Okay, so the X consists of, we're going to skip one stitch, go in the next with a double crochet. And then we're going to go in back into that one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's our X. Okay, then we're going to make an O. Now what I'm calling an O is actually a bobble. So yarn over. Go in your next available stitch, which is not this one, because we made our X in these two stitches here. Next available stitch is over here. Okay, so yarn over, go in that stitch, pull your yarn through, pull your loops up, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, we'll do that five times. Yarn over, go through that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, Pull up your loops, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's two times. Three times. Four times. Five times. So that you will have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six. Okay, pull a little bit tight here. And then you're going to put a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so X, O, single. On the other side, which is the right side of the shawl, there's our bobble sticking up. Okay, so we're going to repeat that. So X, O, single, X, O, single, that's our sequence. So we skip a stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet, go into your next available stitch, which is right here, with a bobble or an O. A yarn over, put your hook through that next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. So I've done that three times, and you can tell by we have one, two, three. And then we're going to do two more. It's the fourth time fifth time and we have six loops on our hook yarn over pull through all six pull a little tight and then in the next stitch we put a single crochet so that was our X O single we've done it twice now so there's our cute little bobbles or our O's <laughs> so let's do that again skip the next stitch go in the next one with a double crochet Go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's our X. And then in the next stitch, we'll make an O. That's our bobble. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook. Pull a little bit tight, 
and then put a single crochet in that very last stitch. So that's the first side of row four done. Okay, so now we're in the chain two space, so we'll put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And now we're going to do the same thing on this other side, but we're going to do it in reverse. So we did XO single. Here we're going to do single O X. Single O X. Single O X. Okay, first stitch, single crochet. And then your O, which will always be in the middle. They're in the middle on this row, they'll be in the middle here. So that was a single, now we'll do our O, or our bobble. Okay, six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six. So we've made a single and then an O and then we need an X. So we'll skip the next stitch, go in the one after with a double crochet. And then we'll go back into that one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay. Okay, so we have a single, an O, and an X. So we'll repeat that. Next stitch, single. Next stitch, an O. And then an X. So you skip one, you go in the next one with a double crochet. And go in the one you skipped with a double crochet. So right now we are actually working on the back of our work. We do that in order to get the bobbles on the front. Okay, so we're still working on row four. Okay, so repeat that. Single. Next stitch, a bobble. All right, oh. Pull through all six on your hook. And then we're going to, we have two stitches left. Actually, we have three. Skip one, go in the next with your double crochet to make your X. Go back in the one we skipped with a double crochet. And then that very last stitch, like we'll always do, we'll put three double crochets in there. So one, Two, three. Okay, we're going to go on to row five. We're going to chain one and turn. Put our three double crochets in the very first stitch. It's one, two, three. Okay, now this row is going to be just double crochets. So if you turn your work like this, you should be able to see your V's all along here. You're going to put a double crochet under every one of those V's. Okay, and you'll have a total of 16 double crochets, and this is row 5. Not counting the first three double crochets or the two we put in the chain two. Okay, our very first double crochet, 
It's right here. So make your double crochet. Go in your next stitch, so double crochet. The next one, double crochet. That was four. And then this one's gonna, that's a long stitch. So we'll go in there. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and in the last stitch, sixteen. Okay, so 16 double crochets, not counting those three we did in the very beginning. Okay, now we're at our chain two space. We'll put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, now we're going to go into each stitch along here with one double crochet, same as we did on the other side. Okay, there's our first stitch. It's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And then in the very last stitch, we'll put three double crochets. One, two, Three. Okay, we have completed row five. All right, so chain one and turn, put your three double crochets in the very first stitch. Okay, now we're going to do the X and O's rows, like, like row <laughs> again. Okay. So X and O's. This is row six. Skip a stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's your X, and then we want an O or a bobble. Go in the next stitch, like yarn over first, go in the next stitch. Remember, we worked over two stitches for our X, so here's the next stitch. Go in there, yarn over, go in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Go in this, yarn over, go in the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, go pull through two. All right, so that was three, and then four, and five, and then yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook, pull a little bit tight, and then the last stitch.
stitch we'll do is a single crochet. So that was XO single. So we'll do XO single all along this row till we get to the chain two space. All right, so XO single. Skip our first stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go back in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Go to our next available stitch and make our O. So O, pull it a little bit tight, and then next stitch, put our single crochet. XO single. Next stitch we skip, go in the next one with a double crochet, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Now we're going to make our O in the next stitch. pull through all six on our hook, pull a little tight, go in the next stitch with a single crochet. So that's the back, that's the front. You can actually see the X, oops, right there, X, O, and then there's a single. Okay. So let's carry on. I'll take you right to that chain two space. XO single. So skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet, go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's our X, and the next one is an O. So go in the next one, we make our O. And then the next one, we make our single. All right, XO single, skip one, go in the next with a double crochet. Go back into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Go in our next stitch with an O. on our last stitch with a single. All right, so that's the back of our work and the front of our work. See how those bobbles, look at how the bobbles are just popping. Cool, right? <laughs> okay, go into that chain two space with two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, so we did XO single. When we get to this other side, we do single OX. Okay, first stitch, put a single crochet. Next stitch, make an O. Okay, that was a single and an O, now an X. Skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go back in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So I'll take you right to the end of this side as well. Single O, X. Single O, X. So single in the next. O in the one after. Pull a little bit tight, 
skip one, go in the next one with a double crochet, and then go in back into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, single O X. So we go into the next stitch here with a single crochet, go in the next one with our O. And then we do our X. So we skip one, go to the next with a double crochet, go back into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, single O X. Go in the next stitch with a single. Next one with an O. Then we need an X, so we skip one, go in the next stitch with a double crochet, and go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, single O X, go into the, ne the next available stitch with a single, go in the next stitch with an O. And then we need an X, so we skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. And then we're going to go into that very last stitch on the end with three double crochets. So that's how the back of our work is looking, and the front, with all those beautiful baubles sticking up. Okay, we just completed row six. Now for row seven. I've chained one, I'm going to turn my work, I'm going to put three double crochets right in that first stitch. One, two, three. Okay, so this is the double crochet row. So we're alternating between the X and O single rows and the double crochet rows. Okay, so for this row, you're going to have 24 double crochets. Not counting the first three and not counting the two double crochets we're going to be putting in the chain two space. Okay, so go into each stitch with one double crochet. All right, first stitch, double crochet, the next one, double crochet, the next one, double, oops, double crochet, Next one, double crochet. The next one, double crochet. So we are going up by eight. Every time we do a double crochet row, we'll be putting eight more double crochets in than we did before. Except in the very beginning, where we did those double crochet rows. Um, one after the other. We did four double crochets and then we did eight double crochets. And after that, it's going to be eight 
um, extra eight extra double crochets every time you do a double crochet row starting with row five <laughs> okay I hope that didn't confuse anybody okay I'll see you at the chain two space all right we have our 24 double crochets and then we're going to go into our chain two space with two double crochet chain two two double crochet And then we're going to put a double crochet into each stitch on this side for a total of 24. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. So keep going in every stitch until you have your 24, just before we get to that very last stitch in the row. All right, I'm at the end of row seven, and I have 24 double crochets. Now we have that very last stitch where we're going to put three double crochets in there. It's one, two, and three. Now on to row eight chain one and turn. Now let's do our X's and O's row one more time. How's that? Okay, so in the first stitch we'll put three double crochets. Let's play X's and O's. So that means we need to start with an X. Skip the stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. And there's our X. Go in the next stitch, which is right here, with our O. Pull a little tight and then put a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, X's and O's. Skip the next stitch, go in the one after with a double crochet. And then go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. It's our X, we need our O in the next stitch. Go in there with our O. Go in the next one with a single crochet. Okay, X, O's, singles. Skip a stitch. Go in the next one with a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the one we skipped. Make an O in the next stitch. And then a single crochet in the next. Okay, let's do that one more time here. We're doing X's and O's. So, skip a stitch, go in the next one with a uh, double crochet. <laughs> go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Go in the next available stitch with an O. And then the next stitch 
with a single crochet. Okay, XO single, XO single, all the way till we get to the chain two space and I'll see you there. All right, I've finished my XO single row. So the last one we finished on was a single in that very last stitch before I chain two. Now in the chain two, make two double crochets, chain two, two do double crochets. So that's one double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, now we're gonna come up the next side and we're going to do the reverse, okay? So we did an XO single, so we're gonna do a single OX. We end in a single here, so we need to start in a single here. Okay, so we're going to put a single in the first stitch, single crochet, and then we'll put our O, And then our X. So remember, skip one, go in the next one with a double crochet. Okay, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, so go in the next available stitch with a single. So we need a single, an O, an X. So that was a single, and then we go in the next one with an O. Okay, skip one, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's our single OX, single OX. And I'll see you at the end of this row. All right, I'm at the end of the row and I have that one stitch left. I finished the row by doing an X. Okay, so now our very last stitch, we put three double crochets in there, like always. Okay, then we'll chain one and turn our work. Now we're on the front of the work. And now this is the double crochet row, which is row nine. So we'll just be alternating between the X and O row and the double crochet row. Three double crochets in that very end, very first stitch. And then one double crochet in each stitch all along. So for this row, without counting those three double crochets at the beginning and the two we're going to put in the chain two space, we're going to have a total of 32 double crochets. Okay, so put a double crochet in every stitch, every stitch until we get to the chain two, and then put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then a double crochet in every stitch all the way to the end. In, um, in that last stitch, you put your three double crochets. Okay, now I have made uh, the bobble X row as my last row. I think that looks good just as a border like that. So if you want to put a something extra on it, you go right ahead, but I'm leaving it like this as my border. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. And please be sure to subscribe and like and share, comment. All that stuff helps out the channel a lot. All right, uh, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you and enjoy your new shawl.